Hello and welcome to the Hidden Cup game number four. I am your host, Michael Michael. And we have a lovely game here. We have Simon Bridges, the Lithuanians, going straight to wood, building one house. And we have Kim.com, the one and the only. He's getting everyone underneath the town centre. He's going to start on the goats. He's going to make another villager and instantly realised he's housed, I'm assuming. Oh no, he's Huns. There we go. No houses for the Hun player. That makes a lot of sense. There we go. So we have Huns versus Lithuanians. Moving to the goats now. Killing a goat a long way away from the town centre. And here we go. Long hauling wood. You can build a lumber camp. Alright, Simon Bridges looks a little bit confused at how to start the game, but... Uh, Kim.com, a little bit better. We're going all on food. We're killing a lot of goats. Killing three goats. You only really need to kill one at a time, but it's a good start. All on food. Here we've got two on wood. We've got some on food. We've got another house coming up. That's going to be important for when the next villager comes out. Alright. 1v1 versus Socotra. This is part of the 16 person tournament. This is game number four. And all the other games except for one have been done as well. And today we're looking at the Huns. Now we've seen the Huns already. We've heard about their amazing bonus where they don't have a uh, they don't have to build houses. They save a lot of wood because of that. They don't have to have as many villages on wood at the start of the game. Um, very fast civ to get up and running, especially in the feudal age. They can put on a lot of pressure in, in feudal age due to all that extra wood they've saved. And over here we have a lot of idle villages. You win some, you lose. Oh no, there they go, they're getting sent to it. They're all lumberjacks now. Apparently, building houses is, the, is at the forefront of Simon Bridges' mind. Uh, he wants to have a lot of houses. Simon Bridges, a lot of wood. I'm assuming he's got 230 wood in the bank already. Only 40 food though. Only 40 food. Here we go, the lumber camp. We're going to increase our wood production even further. We're about to make a villager, and we're about to realise we don't have enough food to make another villager, and that's really bad. You do not want to have your town centre idle at all at the start of the game. And over here, we're looking a little better. Crazy. Taking these straggler trees, we could go build a lumber camp with these guys somewhere safe. This is a nice little safe area, isn't it? Build your lumber camp down there, put a little wall across. Beautiful. I'm going to put our lumber camp here instead. Alright. Now, our scouts are off, doing some stuff, doing some usual scouty business. Green Scout is here looking at these uh, ostriches, and to be honest, I just don't blame her. Lovely long nets. Okay, who's done? Oh no, no, he's just getting closer to this one. He's gonna try and uh, push it around. <laughs> he's given up instantly. It's fantastic. Alright, we'll just keep him by the town centre. You never know what may happen. You might need your scout right next to your town centre. Gotta make sure you see what's going on here. Alright, a lot of villagers up here. Killing this goat. We haven't found our other goats yet, have we? Have we? Maybe we've gone through our goats already. We have been going through them. Down here, we've got our elephant in. That's a really good sign. One village is not gathering the other. Oh, there she goes. Off to do wood. Very good. This is a lot of, a lot of people on wood for the hunt, so I don't really need this. What I do want to do, I'll just take a moment to talk about the Lithuanians. Now, the Lithuanians are actually a very, very powerful sieve, and one of their bonuses is they just flat out, they start with 150 extra food. 150 extra food, which means you can do all sorts of, you can make three more villages and not have to worry about getting food at the beginning. So in, in many ways that bonus has already been uh, put to use uh, with this player not collecting the, the goats as fast as maybe they should have. And the lack of food economy in general. But 150 food will only last you so long, Simon Bridges. You will need to get more food eventually. There's a lot of idle villagers on this barracks. But, he's made a militia. We've seen how dangerous these militia can be. Even though they're just as strong as the villagers, they um they, they strike fear into the enemy. And we're housed again. Simon Bridges, the Lithuanian player, very housed. Needs to build a house. He has a lot of wood to do that. Oh, he's going to attack the elephant. This is very dangerous. Now, if you've been watching the previous stream, you'll know. Yeah. If a military unit delivers the final blow on the elephant, you lose all the food. And the same thing happens to the ostriches. So I, I don't know why Simon Bridges did that. 
That's very disappointing for him. And now he's thinking, well, I may have had 150 extra food, but there goes 400 food, and I don't know what to do now. What am I going to do? What you do have to do is get these ostriches. There's lots of food over here. And you have the wood for a mill. You also have berries. Decision making time. You know what? Nah. We don't need food. Everyone on wood. Okay. Nope. Ostriches. Good. We've made the right decision. Very good. Half on wood. Half on food. Hopefully Simon Bridges will find his way to the feudal age of this game. <laughs> Alright. Down here. Kim.com. He's got some lumberjacks. They're looking at the trees. They're thinking about it. They're thinking about it. They know how this game is going to go. They're saying, you know what? It's going to get 20 minutes in. You're going to have plenty of wood. I don't actually need to work that hard. Are you really going to spend the wood I'm going to collect? Short answer, maybe not. Two other villages here. I do wonder what the making of four villages out of the town centre. You can see it on the right hand side here. And we're just waiting for those to come out before we task them all to go do things. There they are, going on to the berries. Now, for those who don't know, you can right, uh, you can click your town centre and you can right click where you want the villagers to come out and go start working automatically, and that can be really handy. Here we go, another barracks! Kim.com. Now, either he's preparing for a very future scenario, or he thinks he's got enough food eco to build villages and militia out of two barracks, which is pretty impressive. Uh, this is the real... The real big, what do they call it? Think big project. I'm going to make a lot of production buildings. He's thinking two barracks, why not? I wonder who's going to go to the feudal age first. Right now, Simon Bridges, he's on 200 food. He's only got 400 left in these ostriches. So he could theoretically make it to feudal age just on these ostriches. He's put a mill over here, a nice good short walk between there and the berries, making sure his villagers have uh, their 10,000 steps a day, very important, keeps the uh, heart healthy. A lot of these medieval peasants, you know, they're, pretty, they're known for sitting around a lot, not getting their daily exercise on. <laughs> He's looking at the real buff villager. Um, four militia, and they're standing here, they're guarding five militia, they're guarding the... Um, Barracks. This this is dangerous actually. Like I said, you only have so much food before you have to start spending a lot of wood on farms. This is just delaying the next stage because it would be okay if these militia were currently marching to the enemy and doing some damage. Because if you think about it, four versus five. Get put chuck a scout in there. Get the surprise attack, and then to, or just you know go around the side, go around the side and just hit hit where he's weak. You'll note that Kim.com has research loan. That's really good to see. Really, really healthy. What about... No, Simon Bridges has not researched loan. And we, <laughs> I think we all kind of want him to be attacked now, right? Just to learn his lesson. Here's an outpost. This is going to be very important. It's important to put outposts around your town. We can now see a little bit further. We can make sure we're keeping a close eye on those ostriches. It's like the Australian emu war with Simon Bridges. But against the ostriches, he's just... he's. He does. You know, he doesn't actually know Kim.com exists. He actually just thinks this is the enemy over here. So he got half of them, and now he's like, "Wow, well, I need to. I think I need to save up for the second attack. We'll keep my militia up here by my villages just for safety. Chuck some houses right next to the town centre. They're gonna be very safe houses. Very safe houses. All right. And the army might be moving out. This is a good idea. We also got the army for Kim.com. It's 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 defending these ostriches. It's saying, well, we don't want the ostrich population to go extinct. And he's he's on a mission. Is he? He seems to be undecided. He's gone. He's he's off. And I think no one's scouted each other. If you look at Green, he doesn't know what's going on. And if you look at Blue, oh no, he has scouted him. Never mind. I was like, why is your army going off this way? I, this, this, you know, if you haven't scouted your opponent, you could almost imagine they're over here. But, um, oh, no, we'll leave, let the lion live on one health. Oh, you killed him, okay. I think he's trying to do a loop-de-loop, -loop, and that makes a lot of sense. Um, trying to catch him by surprise. He does have an army in defense, though, he's ready. Let's see if he is caught by surprise. We have some unsuspecting villagers, they're just having a chat on the farm here. No doubt, Gerald is trying to talk sweet to... Geraldina, while the father works in the background. He's, anyway, it's enough of that. 
and Alicia at the top, hiding, checking out the ocean. Beautiful, pleasant, calm before the storm. And they're coming down, and what will they find? A lot of houses, an empty lumber. He's going to be very confused to get to the lumber camp, but like, where are your villagers? The villagers are around here, Kim.com. You idiot. <laughs> here we go, first villager. He's going to fight right back. And in comes the army, and here we're looking at a big battle. This is going to be a deciding factor, I think. All of the militia for Simon Bridges versus Kim.com. It looks like Kim.com, he's losing too many numbers. He's being out microed and he's outnumbered. It looks like Simon Bridges coming through with the first big victory of the match. How will Kim.com respond to that? A lot of farms. He must be thinking, uh-oh. Uh-oh. I need... I need more, I need more militia, and that's what he's done, he's queued up a bunch more militia, he's decided, you know what, the next stage just isn't for me. Um, we're doing this in the dark age, I think, is his plan. Um, quite a big score lead for Kim.com, I think a lot of that will actually be the uh, scouting, you get a lot of score just for scouting the map. He's going to save up another army, he's really going ham, he's used a lot of his income, in fact he's getting a lot of income too, his, his village account is now at 31. So Kim.com has 31 villages, and to put that into perspective, Simon Bridges has 13 villages. So, and we've got almost 20 minutes of game time now, which means each villager should make in about 30 seconds, so it should be nearing, nearing 40, which means I think Simon Bridges has completely forgotten that he needs to be gathering food, and I think if we look at Simon Bridges' eco, Ironically, he doesn't have a lot of wood, despite that being the only thing he's collecting. Huh. Honestly, I don't get it. He's got two farms here that aren't being used. He's got one, that last ostrich. He thinks he's about to win the game, I think. I think that's what's really about to go on. Go on. He's got one military here. The rest of them are up here, to keeping those woodcutters safe, getting in the way. Very, very good. And they're on the move. Everyone together. He's making a big war, he's thought, you know what, last time Kim.com hit me, it was from the north. I'm just going to build a wall in the north, which is actually pretty smart. This is this is a good move. I, I wish more players walled uh, like this. It, it really does slow things down. Even if they get through the wall, the the amount of time you have to prepare is uh, invaluable. This is not ideal, though. A lot of these villages just aren't doing uh, a lot. And I think Simon Bridges needs... Here he goes, making more villages. This is very important. 15 villages now versus the 32 of Kim.com. So if you thought Simon Bridges was down and out, he just created three villages when Kim.com created one. So, whew. that being said, bam. Uh, Kim.com has just arrived at the feudal age. All of these militia will soon be upgraded, hopefully, to man-at-arms. Man-at-arms are deadly. So there he is, feudal age. What's the plan now, Kim.com? We have a lot of farmers. Some of them have gone idle because we haven't clicked the automatic farm reseed button. We have a lot of woodcutters. They're doing a great job keeping the wood cut. We even got this person harvesting the ostrich. So we have a lot of income. Very strong. Dub archery range and a stable. He's going all in feudal aggression. I think we can expect quite a large army from Kim.com in the feudal age, and that's going to hit the still dark age, Simon Bridges. I wonder how what Simon Bridges' plan is. He doesn't look like he's doing a lot. What is he thinking about, I wonder? Here comes the militia. They're attacking the wall, because why wouldn't you? That's, the, that's how you get in. <laughs> you go through the wall. Here comes the army from Simon Bridges. We haven't upgraded these militia yet. We haven't taken advantage of our feudal age uh, technological advancement. We're just going to fight with... Well, we're not going to fight. We're going to hit the wall. We're going to lose all of our guys. That's a massacre. I mean, I, I don't know about you guys, but Simon Bridges might win. I reckon another one, another defeat like that. If Kim.com sends all these guys in and they die, he might just resign. He might just think, well... Simon Bridges is too strong. Um, I can't. I can't keep doing this. I'm running out of something. I'm running out of farms, perhaps. Three out of villages on the front. Two on gold. Again, three villagers collecting food. 
for Simon Bridges. That means he can make one villager every time all three villagers go and drop off their food twice. Where's the rest of his farm villagers? They're just standing here. Okay. They're thinking about farming. Or they're having like a farm meeting. They're like, how, what is the best way to farm? Uh, what are the best farming practices? Down here we sent out a scout. He got promptly defeated by the army of Kim.com. Kim.com forward watchtower. I know, I know what he's doing. He's thinking, oh, this watchtower will defend my town. This is a terrible spot for a watchtower. I mean, it's, it's barely defending this gold. And it's not really doing a lot to protect your farms. A better spot is, is forward behind this wall to put on pressure and you defend it with your army. Or you put it right next to the mill so these villagers can hop into it for safety. And it's uh, protecting the gold and the stone and all the farms. That's a much better spot for it. Ironically, we're on the move. Simon Bridges is on the roof. He's making a bigger bridge. He's saying, you know what? That first wall wasn't enough. Quick wall. Look at this, <gasps> he's giving up, he should just keep going. No, he's gonna fight, no, he's giving up. No, he's fighting, oh, he sees the tower, he's running back. <sighs> Close. No losses yet though, although we might see this militia get into trouble. One down, another one down, he's just strip feeding them in. First villager going down on the match, this militia tries to raid the gold, succeeds. Look at these villagers, they're running away now. They don't have to run away yet though. Or maybe they accidentally got sent up here, it's hard to tell. This wall, in the way. In the way for Kim.com, and I don't think he knows how to get past it. He's thinking, I don't, I'm not sure. I tried to attack this part here, it's on fire. Apparently it's still on fire forever, it's not losing health, I don't understand. I thought that went really well and I just got killed. How do I get through the wall? Nerf the walls please, devs, they're too strong. And you'd think that. Let's have a look at the village, village accounts. Kim.com, 37 villages. Pretty strong feudal age economy. And you know what he's doing? He's actually queued up all of his researchers. Uh, you can't quite see it. it's on the top right here, but there's, there's man at arms coming in. All these militia are going to be very strong. He's making archers. He's making spearmen, despite the fact that uh, Simon Bridges is still in the Dark Age and can't even make horses. Um, he's going all out. He's getting everything working. With a lot of lot of economy, all the woodcutters are going to try. another another lumber camp, maybe closer to the wood is, is the right move here. So, villagers popping out still, he's growing that economy, he's on 40 villagers now. The KD is 9-11, where Kim.com has only killed 9, believe it or not. He's got a negative KD, he's lost 11 troops. And it does make you wonder. Alright, what's next? More idle villagers, they're coming out nice and strong. Bigger army, army's upgraded. Is the final push coming? Is the final push coming, my friends? Maybe. Any moment now, I reckon. Any moment. Look at them, practicing. Um, guarding, farming. Let's have a quick look at the resources for Kim.com. Okay. So Kim.com, in the blue, 600 food, which is enough for a lot of scouts, which he's actually making, so good on him. Um, he went double um, barracks, and he's now using both of those at the same time, so pretty good foresight at the very start of the game, putting down two barracks. He's going to send send out a, uh, a small party, get an idea of what Simon Bridges is up to. And honestly, I reckon one of these scouts could probably go scout Simon Bridges for Kim.com and just give him a better idea. Well, you know what Kim.com really needs? More of these Ford Outposts. Uh, Helen Clark in the previous game made great use of the Ford Outpost to get a better idea on her opponent, and that's what uh, Kim.com should do right now. He's thinking about it, he's like, I've got a lot of army here, could I do it? Could I do it? Putting a house up. So this is a terrible house, it's blocking the gold, so now um, Kim.com can't actually get his only safe gold. This is not a safe gold, and neither is this, because the army is right here. But um, if he wanted to get this gold, he can only do it with like two or three villages now. Um, whereas before, if his, maybe his, if his walls went up to the tree, and then he could actually surround the gold in villages, for when he inevitably wants to hoard a lot of gold. Not using all of our farms, and we still have the berry bushes, which is pretty good. I think 
um, Simon Bridges, his gameplay right here is what we'd call very um, economic. You know, like um, he's he's not. Oh, the scouts coming forward. I don't think that was ordered. I think they just saw this villager and they got excited. And it's going to go into attack. Uh, Blue is going to respond by running away. I think. He's very scared. Um, it's very economic. Sorry, his his play. You know, he's not trying to. He's not doing a lot of damage to the forest industry. You know, he's 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 replanting the trees as he goes. He doesn't want to get rid of all the berries. He's kind of sad that he went through all the ostriches. Big fight on the front. This is the little uh, the small force by Kim.com, and it's actually it's lost a lot. I uh, lost a lot of uh, units, but it, for a second it was driving Simon Bridges back. But uh, yes, it's keeping him at bay. And these archers very scary. These guys, clubs, right? They, they walk up to you and hit you. These guys, they hit you from far away. Very, very technologically advanced. Um, kind of unfair almost when you think about it. If only there was a way to get to the next stage. If only that was a possible idea. Kim.com, he's on 1800 food, 1500 uh, gold. He could go to the Castle Age and then the Imperial Age, I think. Uh, and one fell through, we could do a fast imp. Oh, he's being let through the gate! Oh no, Simon Bridges, you, your villagers got too close to the gate, and you've let in the entire army of Kim. Well, not the entire army, he's got a lot back here, but a huge force. And this is definitely, uh, the writing is on the wall, if it wasn't before, Simon Bridges completely outgunned here. His, his absolute shambles in his, in his peaceful, peaceful village, his peaceful green village, living in in harmony with nature, not anymore, Kim.com comes in with his technology and he says no Simon Bridges and Simon Bridges doesn't have the speed to deal with this I don't think. Can he go to the feudal age? He cannot, he only has five food. Oh, oh Simon Bridges. We're not advancing today are we? Well, there goes the town centre, and really we're just waiting for, uh, wait, uh, you know, I think we're all, I think we might just speed it up at this point. There we go. <laughs> Thank goodness. Wow. Well, you saw it here, ladies and gentlemen. Kim.com. Far superior. Huge army. Probably one of the biggest armies we've actually seen so far, ironically. Um, and had a lot of time to get it up. Uh, lots of, lots of economy. Very strong show of force to the very peaceful... Simon Bridges, who just wanted to live in peace and not not take too much from the landscape. Real quick look at the statistics here, we just want to look at that, yeah, 35 units killed, and society, really important, 49 villages for the Kim.com, so quite a large economy, and only 18 for Simon Bridges, that's a real shame, and the timeline really does show it all, uh, until the very end, so very sad. Uh, hope you enjoyed this game, a little bit slower paced to what we're used to, but um, Good game, nevertheless, and a very strong play from Kim.com, who goes through to the uh, the next round. Thanks to you all for listening. I hope you enjoyed, and good night.